Hi, I'm Matt Vanacoro here from Mo2. We're talking about Mach 5.3. We're going to take a look at the arpeggiator in Mach 5.3. Mach 5's arpeggiator is an incredibly intuitive and musical tool. It's easy enough for a beginner to use with loads of presets, yet it's incredibly powerful and customizable. So those of you that really get deep into arpeggiation and use that in your music will be able to control every aspect of the arpeggiator. It really makes you want to use it. It's fun, it's musical, it's melodic, it's really great. Let's take a look at the interface. So I've got the arpeggiator loaded up right now with a normal analog bass synth track. So I called up one of the mono arpeggiator patterns, um, bass line, and this actually simulates kind of a bass line playing. And as you see, I can customize every aspect of it, how many times it goes, whether it goes up or down, the volume of each stroke. So let's record this bass line with a little drum part. There we go. So next, I'm going to load up an electric piano sound. We'll use a nice FM DX7 type electric piano. Just to take a look at the chord mode of the arpeggiator. So when I drop down my presets, I have a whole bunch of different chord presets. I can use theirs. I can make my own. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going to play or strum the chord over and over. So let's throw that in there with my drum part. So now, let's throw an arpeggiated lead on the top of this and use kind of more of a traditional arpeggio. So I've got a lead flute patch loaded up and as you can see, when I go down to just the regular arp mode, we still have a couple of different presets. I can adjust how many times I want the uh, arpeggiator to step up and down. Um, <laughs> lots. I'm going to keep it at four for now. Um, I can adjust uh, whether what the resolution is, I can adjust how many octaves it goes up and down, um, all sorts of stuff. I can even make it swing if I want to. So I can take my simple arpeggio. And adjust the groove amount and make it swing. This isn't a swing tune, so we'll kind of hold back on that. Speaking of hold, I can actually have it hold so that when I hit the chord, it holds it and plays it for me. So no hands. This is great because um, a lot of people do that in live performance, or if you just want to sit there and tweak without having to you know, hold one hand on the keyboard, you can do that too. So it's a really great tool. So let's throw this in with the track that we've got. So as you can see, highly customizable. You can mess with it while you're playing. You can make all sorts of adjustments, um, and it works in line. Amazing arpeggiator, great, great musical tool, and a lot of fun to use. The arpeggiator in Mach 5.3.